Hi guys, Retool and Bubble are two leading no-code platforms. Each platform brings distinctive features to the table, offering a unique approach to the no-code space. But which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I'll explain the main differences between the two and we'll consider four criteria to see how these two tools stack up. So let's find out which is better for you. Retool is a fast, flexible, no-code platform that aims to make the process of building internal tools speedier and more efficient. It offers a robust set of components, including tables, buttons, and forms, and connects with nearly any database or API, allowing you to pull in data from multiple sources. Retool's standout feature is its ability to write JavaScript alongside its visual interface. This means, while it's a no-code tool at heart, it doesn't shy away from code making it a versatile option for those with a bit of coding knowledge. Bubble, on the other hand, is designed to empower users to design, develop, and launch full-featured web apps without writing a single line of code. It provides a user-friendly drag-and-drop interface, making it easy to create custom layouts, responsive designs, and interactive user experiences. Bubble's strength lies in its flexibility. It allows users to create anything from simple landing pages to complex multi-user SAAS platforms. Its visual programming interface makes it particularly appealing to beginners or those without a technical background. When it comes to ease of use, both platforms have their strengths. Retool's interface is clean and intuitive with a straightforward drag and drop design. However, the ability to write JavaScript might make it more appealing to those with some coding experience. Bubble's visual programming interface is beginner-friendly and does not require any prior coding knowledge. It offers a range of tutorials and guides, making it easy for users to get started. Retool offers a variety of pricing plans to suit different needs. The free plan is available at no cost, suitable for developers and small teams. For growing teams, the team plan is offered at $19 per user per month. Businesses operating at a larger scale can opt for the business plan at $83 per user per month. Lastly, for organizations with advanced needs, the enterprise plan is available with the price provided on request. On the other hand, Bubble introduces a similar structure with its four distinct plans. The free plan incurs no monthly costs. The starter plan is attainable at $29 per month, offering more capabilities than the free plan. For small businesses, the growth plan at $119 per month could be a suitable choice. The last plan is the team plan, priced at $349 per month, designed specifically for larger projects or teams. It's worth noting that while both platforms offer a free plan, the features available in these plans may be limited. It's important to check what each plan includes before making a decision. When it comes to customer support, both Retool and Bubble have robust customer support systems in place. They offer extensive documentation, video tutorials, and community forums where users can seek help and share their experiences. With that being said, both Retool and Bubble are robust, no-code platforms, each catering to different users' needs and skill levels. Retool might be more appealing to those with some coding knowledge or those needing to build internal tools quickly. Meanwhile, Bubble is a great option for beginners or non-technical users looking to build comprehensive web apps. Choosing the right platform ultimately depends on your specific needs, budget, and comfort level with the platform. Therefore, it's recommended to test both platforms to see which one best suits your requirements. To get started, simply sign up using the links provided in the video description. Thank you for considering this option. I hope you found this video useful and learned something new. If so, please give it a thumbs up to show your appreciation. If you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.